Hello, everybody, and welcome to Anchor Software's mail tracking webinar powered by Snailworks. In today's webinar, we'll be discussing about our new partnership with Snailworks to help integrate mail tracking solution into our Max Presort OS software. And you know what that does for you. That allows you and your marketing team, as well as your clients, real-time updates of their mail job. Today's webinar is hosted by myself, Cindy Prado, as well as Dave Lewis, president of Snailworks. But before we get started, let me tell you a little bit about Dave Lewis. Dave Lewis is president and co-founder of Snailworks, the first web-based company dedicated to integrating direct mail and the online world. He's been working in the direct mail industry for more than 30 years and has held almost every possible position, all the way from a letter carrier in the 1970s to operations and marketing position to current company owner. Dave is a frequent uh, speaker at industry events, including the National Postal Forum, dozens of PCC meetings, and industry events. He has served on the board of many industry associations. He currently serves as an industry co-chair for MTAC User Group 4, Mail Visibility. And now, Dave Lewis is going to be gracious enough to show us all about Snailworks and the mail tracking software. Dave? Oh, very good. Thank you, Cindy. Can you hear me okay? <laughs> I can. Okay, good. I want to make sure I unmute myself before I start talking. Again, thanks. Uh, I, I am Dave Lewis. I'm the, I'm the president of Snailworks, and we'll tell you a little, bit, a little bit more about Snailworks as we go on. One thing I did want to remind you of is if you if we will be taking some questions at the end. So if you do have questions, go ahead and type them into the questions console uh, on, on your screen. Uh, you can do that while we're talking, and at the end, we'll go through through those and answer questions as we go through. And also, I, th I believe we're recording this webinar, so you should be able to uh, get a copy or, or share a copy if need be. So uh, we're very excited at Snowworks about our partnership with Anchor. Uh, always a challenge in tracking mail is just the process of getting jobs created and set up. And so uh, Anchor has built a, a wonderful interface that makes it really easy, pretty much with a push of a button, um, to, to go ahead and create mail tracking jobs. So, so we're going to talk about today, uh, go through a quick presentation, then sort of go online and show you uh, the reporting in action. Uh, a little bit about Snailworks. We, uh, are, we've been around since 2012, and our mission is to provide tactical tools um, uh, to help direct mail be more effective, essentially. We want to help tie it direct mail to other channels. Um, and so it makes it more effective. And a big part of the way we do that is by tracking direct mail, knowing when it gets delivered to help our customers coordinate that. We essentially have three uh, primary products that we use. Um, one is direct to digital, and that is our multi-channel marketing uh, product that, take, that does that linking of uh, direct mail to the online. Uh, our newest product is direct to digital ID, which is a product designed to help mailers create informed delivery campaigns. We're hoping that'll be a big deal down the road. That's kind of a new postal product too. And finally, what we're talking about today is, is uh, Visibility Plus, which is our mail tracking product, and it's built around the uh, informed uh, visibility platform. I almost said informed delivery. The Postal Service likes to name everything informed these days, but informed visibility is what we're looking at in this case. So Visibility Plus, um, as I said, it is our informed visibility solution, and we provide client-facing mail tracking reports. And what we mean by that when we say client-facing is a lot of mail tracking you see is really designed for mail houses, for mailing experts to look at. 
Um, and R certainly provides all the data that anyone uh, would need, but it also, we've built our reports to try to be friendly for clients to use, for your customers to use, so they can look at it without being a mailing expert. It is built on the uh, informed visibility platform from the Postal Service, and uh, the, there's been a, a lot of different mail tracking platforms the Postal Service has used. Um, starting with the Planet Code and, and working their way up to Informed Visibility now, which they launched in December. It's a much more sophisticated uh, platform, and, and we're pretty excited about it and the capabilities it's added to what we do. We track uh, outbound and inbound mail. So most of what we do is tracking mail as it gets delivered and tell our customers when their mail is being delivered. But we can also have the capability of tracking uh, business reply mail, courtesy reply mail, so you can track as responses are coming in to you as well. And all of these are capacities that you will have uh, through the account that you create with, it, with, your, um, with Anchor Software. So there's a whole set of reports, and I'm and I'm just going to sort of flash these on the screen here as a, as a teaser, I guess. We'll get it. We'll go online and get into detail on, on what all these reports are and some of the reports that are available. One that I do want to show that doesn't you, you really don't see it uh, as you go through online, but we think it's a big deal, is uh, called Your Mail, and this is a simplified mailing report that you can set up to or mail tracking report that you can set up to automatically email out to your customers or even their customers, anyone you want to send it to. You can see it doesn't really look like a mail tracking report. It's simplified. There's no. There's. It's only good news that your mail is getting delivered. So this is one of the features again when we talk about client client facing reports is designed for people who are, who are non-mailers essentially we call it mail tracking for the non-mailer so why track mail what's the what's the uh, benefit to, to tracking mail um, and there, there 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 are a lot they're substantial one is to anticipate and plan for response so for example fundraisers uh, they know they're going to have their call centers are going to get to get calls uh, they're going to receive mail coming in they want to know when that's happening so they can schedule staff anticipate cash flow and all the things that come with response so when you know exactly when your mail is getting delivered you can do that uh, coordinate other marketing channels. That's one of our favorite things, um, which is as a piece of mail gets delivered, and again, we track at the single piece level, you can use that uh, as a trigger to send an email, to uh, notify your telemarketers, to make a phone call, whatever that may be. So coordinating other marketing, cha marketing channels is a big use of it. Um, confirm mail acceptance. Uh, essentially what this means is you can, it, and we'll sh I'll show you this when we go online, we, we look at first scans of a piece of mail it's gotten any scans, uh, you can confirm to your customers that the mail has been accepted by the post office. And this may not seem like a big deal, but these days with uh, uh, with seamless acceptance, with commingling, and all the other methods of doing mailing, a lot of times to have an independent way to prove to your customers that you did their mailing and that it's all in the mail stream can be valuable. So that's another thing that you can do with mail tracking. Uh, an obvious one, I think, is to identify and correct mail transfers issues so you know we love the postal service uh, but they have issues every now and then things get delayed they have problem areas and this really does give us away we've and we've seen this a lot of our customers especially with the enhanced capability of informed uh, visibility that uh, that when something uh, is is sent the wrong way is being routed the wrong way we've had that identified and corrected so mail just gets delivered faster within the standards it should and last but certainly not least in, in this list, and this is hardly an exhaustive list of benefits, but give peace of mind to your clients. A lot of times people just want to know the mail got delivered. Uh, and that's one of the things that mail tracking does. And in some ways that may be the biggest benefit. And certainly for, for the, we, we see the best mailers in the country tend to just automatically include mail tracking because it's a natural way to follow the last part of the process. Anchor and Snellworks do work together to make this very easy. That's our objective in, in, in creating this integration. Uh, so now you can create jobs seamlessly from your Max Presort OS software. Um, you can create unique accounts for each of your customers. So you, you'll be able to have a, an account for each customer so they can log in or not log in. You can send them noti notices, but either way, they get their mail just for them. They can see what's happening with it. Um, you can see everybody. They just see their own work. Um, automated reporting that we can send out all kinds of reports. And I'll show you this when we get online uh, to your customers so they don't need to log in um, for basic uh, for basic reports because a lot of people don't want to log in. They just want to know their mail is getting delivered. We can do that for them. And essentially, 
with the Anchor Snailworks uh, partnership, uh, you get world-class mail tracking with the click of a button. That's such a great line. I'm not even going to change it, but that really is true. It's, it's made very easy, and and it is uh, it's 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 great mail tracking. And so that said, let me try one more tricky transition here, and let's see if we can't get to the web. Looks like that worked. So I'm logged into Snailworks here, and this is a view comparable to what you would see. Um, this is for, you would see a listing of your customers and a list uh, uh, going down here. And I'm gonna go ahead and select Snailworks because that's my favorite company here. And so we're gonna look at the mail tracking jobs for Snailworks. Um, now this, uh, so this is a list of jobs that we've been tracking. Uh, for Snailworks under our account. And you can see a lot of these are just tests and things. We, uh, we're, we're, uh, we're very reckless with our own account because uh, we can always change these things, we get rid of them when we need to. Uh, but anyway, this is, so this is a test account. Uh, but again, this, a lot of times you can see we have three pages of jobs and, and most of our clients, we have clients with hundreds of pages of jobs who do a lot. And let's look at this first job. This is a, a job we did back in February actually called the uh, January Lead Generator. Uh, we did two splits on it. And uh, so we do split. So if you have a client that you do splits for, you can, we can manage uh, splits, different versions here. We did an East and a West on that. Um, and, but we're going to go ahead and look at, and we, and we could actually look at the results for either split, but we're going to look at the results for the whole job here. So the first view we see when we go online and is, a, is a map of the United States, and it's color-coded based on um, what percentage of the mail has been tracked to delivery there. Since this was mailed back in February, virtually all of it, well, I, th I think everything that's going to be delivered has been delivered in this case. That's why it's all dark green. While the mail is taking place, there'll be different colors. These two states here, and I'm going to say that's Wyoming and South Dakota. Uh, you, you can uh, send comments if I'm wrong on those guesses. We didn't have any mail to those states, so they're just gray. They don't show up as anything. If I mouse over a state on this view, um, it'll show me the statistics for that state as well. So just as a real quick view, I can look at a state and see how much I got, how much I mailed there, and and uh, and what my percentage of tracking is. And sometimes that can be helpful. Uh, you know, if most of your mail is going to New York, but you have a few stragglers here and there, it can be a little deceptive looking. So being able to mouse over and see how many pieces you sent there can be very helpful. So this is one view that your customers can see. But we also have the ability that you can custom select by customer what view they'll see. So in this case, we came to, uh, chose to came, uh, come in uh, and start with the view of, uh, of the nation by map. But a lot of people also look at this by date. Uh, they'll have this as the first report when customers log in. And that's something that you can alter to your tastes. Um, but this, is, this shows how many pieces were delivered each day. It's shown graphically up here and uh, in the top half. And then numerically as you go down, you can see uh, how many pieces of mail got delivered each day. For a lot of customers, this is a, this is a very important report because um, that alone sort of tells them, um, that uh, what tells them um, you know, what, how to anticipate response, how much they're gonna get each day. So that alone is a very important report. This one's a little funny. Usually it's a single hump, but again, remember we had two versions on this, two splits. So that's the first split and that's the second split as it comes through here. So that's the, that's the reason there's sort of two humps. And again, this, you can set this as the default report that a customer sees when they come on if you don't want to show them the map. And for example, if you have someone who's just mailing to one state or a couple of states, a lot of times this report makes more sense uh, to get into that. Um, so let's go ahead. So, and I'm going to go uh, one other point here, and I'm going to be going through this drop down menu, but let's view this by state. And we'll go into more detail on that in a minute. And, and again, I, and, uh, I, I do want to point out this, this is really just a demonstration of capabilities. This, this is not a tutorial. Um, so I, I won't get too exhaustive on this because uh, it, 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 there's a lot to this system. It can, get, uh, it can get challenging. So we'll keep it at a fairly high level. So this, what we're looking at now is the view by state. So this is that same job. Um, by the way, it was about 8,800 pieces we mailed. And this shows uh, within each state um, how many pieces uh, were mailed and how many delivery scans we've gotten. It's not quite 100% usually, and I'll talk about that a little bit in a minute. Uh, but um, 
uh, so we can see the states down here and then what mail got delivered each day for those. And I'm going to go to the state of Maryland. So you can see each of the states is another link. So I click on Maryland and now this takes me to the, um, the three digit zip areas within Maryland, 206 through 218. And again, I can see, so in 217, which is where we are, you know, I can see 44 pieces were delivered on the 21st and two pieces were delivered on the second. Uh, that's, uh, and, and if I click on 217, this is also a link. And this takes me down to the five digit zip codes within the 217 zip area. So that, now again, this isn't necessarily all of them, but this is all the ones we had mail going to. Um, so, and then we have the names of the cities next to it, which can be very helpful when you get down to city level, especially. And then I'm going to go ahead and you can see these are links too. So we just keep drilling down. This is it's really a very simple way to go. So I click on Frederick, Maryland. And so now I'm down to, these are the pieces of mail that we mailed to 21704. This is the uh, what, nine pieces of mail, I guess it is. And these are the serial numbers that were the intelligent mail barcode on each of those. And I will click on the third one here. And well, look at that, it's me. Um, this is the piece of mail that got sent to me. And so this go, we've drilled down to a single piece of mail now. Um, and we can see that uh, this was uh, the first scan we got was in Baltimore, and they do handle the mail for uh, for Frederick, and that happened at 3:46 p.m. on the 20th, and uh, so that's the that 918 event code tells us what was happening. That's where it was put into sequence. First pass at putting in sequence for the carrier. The second pass, uh, 919, is final sequencing happened at 5:47 a.m. And so it's a pretty safe bet that that got delivered uh, that day on the 21st. And actually, this last thing tells us this, and this is a new feature of informed visibility, which is the carriers have GPS devices on them. So this carrier walked uh, through the zip barrier or drove through the zip plus four um, geo fence, as it's called around here, at uh, 1046 a.m. and 55 seconds. So that's pretty much when he, he or she delivered the mail. So you can see tremendous amount of detail. I started with a map of the country that showed everything. And in a few clicks, we got down to a single piece of mail um, to, to find it. Now, there's another way to, to uh, access that. I'm going to go back a little bit here, back to uh, where we started. And um, I'm going to say, let's go, ahead, let, let's say someone calls and says, and the boss calls, because it's always the boss or the president of your cust uh, company's uh, or your customer's company and says, oh, you know, did I get, where's my mail piece? I didn't get mine. So we do have a feature in here to do a mail piece lookup. And so let's assume that I'm your boss, but uh, you know that's probably not the case, but we'll just say that Lewis is what we're looking for. So you can just put in a last name. You could also put an account number in, an address. There's all, anything that you have in the data can be entered in here. And so here we see all the Lewises, all my, all my cousins and, uh, and siblings, and we'll click on that. And there's that same, uh, that same piece again, the scan data on the same piece. So just kind of show a different way of accessing that. So again, we'll go back a little bit to where we were. And so everything we've been looking at so far, we've been looking at by delivery date. And when I say that's how many pieces, you know, this is how many pieces got delivered on each of these days. Um, the other alternative view we have is we can also look at things by first scan. And that means that's any piece that got a scan. This is the first time we saw them. And, um, so in this case, it's uh, you can see one of the things you'll notice. I'm going to do that again. See this uh, uh, when I looked at delivery date, and sometimes I mess this up by going back and forth like this. But on delivery date, we had about 97% of the pieces scanned to delivery because um, you know there's pieces that get uh, doubles get pulled, um, things get misrouted. There's there's re the, they go things bypass sortation in some places. But we had on, if you look at first scan, it goes up to over 99%. And this is where we talk about uh, being able to confirm to your customers that you mailed everything. Now, again, it's, it's rarely gonna be 100%. Um, it's almost always gonna be 98, 99% of the pieces get a first scan. Again, just because some things bypass sortation, there are reasons for that. 
but another useful application of this is using that first scan. So that said, first of all, let me put this back to delivery date because I like it better there. And then I'm going to go ahead and discuss some of the options that exist. We looked at some of the reports from this drop down menu, but there's a, there's a lot in here. So let's kind of take a look at what's available. Um, so we looked at things by date. That's what the, the view we have up here right now. We can do it by induction point, which is kind of interesting. If you're drop shipping mail, you can, uh, you can we add a field to each piece that tells us what the induction point was. And then we can, you can view reports here by induction point. So if you drop some in an SCF here at an NDC someplace else and you tracking that, uh, you can look at the induction points there. Uh, by geography, we saw the map. We can look at views by postal area, by NDC, by SCF. By, these are by the zip codes that are served by a particular NDC or SCF. We looked at state three digit and five digit. Um, so, so lots of, and any geographic view you want. Um, on a, we also do have a ACS address change service capability built in. And we have a lot of customers who use us for this, uh, which is the NCOA, of course, is the uh, sort of the standard to get your addresses corrected pre-mailing. But for those pieces that the carrier can't deliver that are undeliverable, ACS will tell you why it was undeliverable and give you a new address if there is one, because sometimes we see a small percentage, even after NCOA, there'll be some pieces that are still undeliverable. So you can generate reports that will show you that. Um, on time performance, simply you can set, you can set um, targeted in-home dates and you can measure whether your mail was, er how much of your mail was early, how much was on time and how much was late. Mail piece lookup, we looked at. You could type in my name and uh, you type in other names too, not just mine, but you can type in a name there and, and, and look them up. Uh, barcode lookup is kind of a cool feature if you have that application for it. And that is, uh, we have some election people who do this with, uh, with absentee ballots. They'll scan the IMB on the piece when it comes in. Um, we'll give, you, give them a unique IMB for each uh, inbound ballot. They'll scan it. Uh, by by actually plugging a uh, barcode reader into a terminal, and they'll enter it that way and see the scan history to see if people mailed it on time. Uh, let me see, what else do we have? Um, so so that's the barcode lookup, mail piece detail, um, USPS postal scan, postal scans. If if you're a glutton for punishment, you can get the raw data, and torture yourself with that. Um, inbound revenue. These are there's a couple of inbound tracking reports, revenue and tracking detail, which allows you to track uh, replies. As, and if you if you uh, upload amount due, uh, then we can actually tell you how much revenue you have coming. We do that for some dues mailings for people, so they know they know someone when the piece is coming back that it's going to have a certain amount of dues payment with it. So they use that to anticipate cash flow, and we can just give you the detail on who mailed in what when. And that can be very nice if you're, for example, a utility in sending out uh, cancellation or shutoff notices. You can use uh, what's in the mail today, what someone just mailed in, what payments they just sent in as a stop list so you don't send them a cancellation notice. And finally, we do have some um, user-defined fields you can add. So if you want to view things by store, by region, anything like that, that's all in there. So it's a tremendous amount of capacity in these reports. A couple other features I want to show um, is one, all these reports we looked at, if you want to export them, it's very easy to do. You click the export button and um, select what format. You can get it in Excel. You can get it as a CSV, um, as a PDF. If you want an image of this screen, you can do that by selecting that. Um, and uh, so very simple to download. Most of the reports you looked at, all the tabular reports, can be downloaded that way. The last thing that, we'll, that I want to go into is scheduled reports. And let me see, not that schedule report. Let's go back up here. I'm sorry, bear with me one second. Well, that always happens at just the wrong time. Let me see, one second, please. I tell you, when I go jumping around this way, I confuse the system all the time. So this is a terrifying looking page, but it's really fairly simple to, uh, to operate. Um, and again, this looks big because we have all of our clients in here. 
But in this case, with scheduled reports, you can send your clients reports on a regular basis that are sent to them proactively. One, I mentioned the your mail, the your mail option is on here. Um, there's your, a your mail notification. You can select what client you want to send it to. Um, and you can select what job you're going to send it to based on that. And um, then you can select to generate a report right now. So this would be a your mail notification for that client for this job. And then, and again, I promise this is not a tutorial. When we, do, when we uh, bring a new client on, we go through a, uh, an onboarding where we show you how this works. And we can run it, set to run it on a regular schedule. You can pick what days you want to run it on. You can pick who it goes to, who it comes from, how long to run it. A tremendous capacity. So I said, at one level, it's a simple system that, um, you know, where you just click on things and drill down and, and to deeper levels of, of views. So, so you certainly don't need to be a, a mailing expert to do that. Um, but there's a, there's a tremendous amount to schedule, uh, of capability to schedule reports and do some very advanced functions in this system. Um, and and it's, all, it's all built into the tracking that's available through Anchor Software. Um, some of the things that, uh, that we scan that we don't scan so well, um, and, and that are changing dramatically as time goes on. Uh, letters, we typically track 98, 99% of letter size mail. It works very well. We track it very precisely right down to delivery. Flats have traditionally been a challenge. That's flat size mail, but it's gotten much better too. We're tracking it typically 80 plus percent and the Postal Service is making big changes to informed uh, visibility that should get us closer to 90, 95% in the coming months. So really very soon, some of, the, some of the scan events that they're adding as time goes forward. So it's important that your customers understand the tr the, how tracking works. We always provide support on that. We pro obviously we provide support on just getting the jobs created and helping with the mechanics of it, but we'll also provide support uh, working with Anchor on, on, uh, on de mail delivery issues, why you didn't get scans on something and things like that. But overall, I think you're, you'll find your customers, it gives them a, 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 a new deepening of their relationship with you by working with this data. Um, so again, this is uh, it, it, as you join us, as you start tracking mail with us, we'll get into a lot more detail about how to how to run all this yourself. But I think this is a pretty good overview of some of the capabilities that are that are built into this. And and so with that said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, and Cindy, I'm going to send it back to you if that's okay. Sure enough, great job, Dave. Thank you so much for so much information and. Please remember, everybody, if you have any questions, feel free to either type them in the chat window or call support, and we'll be more than happy to clear all that information up for you. Now, what I'm going to do is show you how easy it is to run the mail tracking within the current pre-sort OS software that we're due to get out soon. We're going to uh, incorporate it within your Max pre-sort OS GUI. Simply one, two, three steps. First, you go to the application settings uh, within the GUI. You enable the mail tracking. Secondly, you either run a job that you've already set up or create a new pre-sort OS job. After it gets through running, you click on the mail tracking reporting button that's running uh, the pre-sort and you'll see a little pair of steps. So if you see these little steps right here, you'll notice they're little footprints. And I know that this GUI is a little bit minimized, but in the right-hand corner, you'll see a, a pair of steps that shows, that shows uh, uh, once you click on this little uh, pair of steps, what that'll do is it'll take you to the Anchor Mail Track application. And you'll see this screen right here. You'll type in your username and your password. And once you type in your username and password that we provide to you, by the way, you'll be able to log into the site. Once you log into the site, you'll see this screen right here and you'll see all of the clients that you've uploaded or all the job names that you've uploaded. If you'll notice right here, there's company name and that's how you do check on the jobs by company name 
uh, if you need to check on them by that. So uh, it's very, very simple. You do not have to do anything on your end. If you don't want to use the GUI, you can also choose the configuration file where we will show you how to enable that uh, tracking. So uh, if you're running lights out, you don't have to open up the GUI to do it. So that is the, the ins and the outs of the mail tracking. Dave was very gracious to show us the information. Now, what we'll do is go over with Dave's help, go over some of the questions that you guys have uh, posed within the webinar while it was going on. And the first question is, what type of file does pre-sort send to SnailWorks? Well, it produces two files. It produces a zip file and the compressed file is all of the information and the data that contains with your pre-sort. It has the names and addresses, the IMB, and we also give you the ability to have four user-defined fields. If you don't have any user-defined fields, then those are empty. But if you do, then those are filled in. Secondly, in the uh, text file, it's just a simple configuration file that we send on to SnailWorks that they need in order to process your file. So next question is, how do we get started? Do we need to create an account? Great question. No, you do not need to create an account. Um, we will do that for you. And what I would urge you to do is contact your salesman for the other portion of it is, how do we get started? Next question, uh, another good question. Dave, I'm gonna need your help on this one, is do you track flat mail? Do you track packages? Uh, that that is a good question, and we do we tr we do track flats, and, and as as I was saying, there's still it's getting better all the time. But uh, absolutely, flat size mail, anything that has a, a an intelligent mail barcode on it, we can track. Which unfortunately, right now, does not include packages, um, so we don't track packages. However, that is on the uh, on the postal services roadmap um, for probably probably next year. We're hoping so we may be able to tie package tracking in at that point. But right now we don't we track we yes we track flats no we don't track um, packages. Okay, thanks. That's a, a great great answer. Next question. It's a doozy. Are you ready, Dave? I'll do my best. <laughs> informed visibility provides uh, pallet and does informed visibility provide pallet and in tray tracking? Are these available? Um, yeah, well, that, uh, that's a really good question. The, uh, uh, yeah, actually, informed visibility, one of the features it has, the, the new features, is it does track pallets and it does track trays and, and uh, bundles and sacks as well. And that's actually one of the features we have in beta right now. And we, we're, we're running it with a couple of clients um, who do that. So if, if someone is, mostly that's valuable for very large mailers who are tracking, um, uh, for very large mailers who, who are drop shipping uh, themselves. In that case, that's West where it's most valuable. And yes, those services are available. You might have noticed too when we looked at the single piece, there's kind of a link to, uh, to the pallets. Uh, or, and to, or to the e-docs where we can look at some of that. So we're building that in right now. Thanks. Uh, thank you for that information. And the next question I see, it's also a very good one, is uh, why don't you track 100% instead of 99 or 97 or some other percentage? What happened to the other 2%? And I think you went over that, but can you reiterate that? Uh, sure, and that because it's 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 an important question. We we have people um, we have people ask about that, um, uh, which is why isn't it a hundred percent? Well, it's it, it a sometimes you know some mail may not get mailed. Sometimes uh, mailers may have a little bit of spoilage, but mostly it's going to be for doubles that are pulled, uh, a, a bundle that bypassed automation. Um, you know, the, uh, some of the postal equipment has glitches, but it, we very rarely have 100%. Usually on letters, again, it'll be 99 point something. We'll get some kind of scan. Great. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you for better information. And it looks like the last question is, uh, well, no, actually, there's a couple more coming through. What if we already have an account with Snellworks? Um, and that question, I believe, we'll need to work out with your salesman. So uh, I, whoever posed the question, we'll get back to you, and the salesperson will get back to you, and we'll work out the logistics of that. Next question is, what if my client is security conscious and has banks or insurance and does not know to what to do, does not want their addresses transmitted to a third party? Uh, can only the IMB and the zip codes be transmitted? And, and I'm going to I'm going to take that a little bit to the extent that I can, which is we only need the IMBs. Uh, all, all we really need is an IMB and a unique identifier of some kind um, that doesn't have to be associated to anything. So it could just be a, a sequential number or something like that. As far as building that file, that would be uh, something you probably have to talk to uh, Anchor Support as far as doing that but we don't as long as uh if if uh, if you can configure the only those fields to be set up we can work with those we don't need the name and address the only thing you lose is if you want to look up someone by name obviously if we don't have their name we're not going to be able to find it but we do have a number of clients for just that reason that they do have security uh, issues that they just send us imb data or send us imb and a uh, and a unique identifier Thanks. I know that I, that does put a lot of uh, customers at ease, especially on our end when we're talking to some customers and we ask for their information in order to test it. And they're like, well, can we take out the names and addresses? So I know that security, especially in this day and age with so much hacking going around, uh, that the more secure that they feel, the better. So I believe that's all of our questions for today's webinar. I want to thank everybody for attending our webinar. If you have any questions, uh, please post a call our anchor support or go to www.anchorcomputersoftware.com and um, we can answer any questions concerning our Max pre-sort OS software and Snailworks mail tracking. Uh, also wanted to let you know, this webinar, as like our others, will be posted. Uh, we will be sending a link so that you can view it along with the questions and the answers uh, on our YouTube website. Thank you, everybody. And I hope today's webinar was very informative for you. And I want to thank Dave Lewis for doing a great job. Thank you, Cindy.